Well, in the southern U.S., the wheat combines have already been rolling for a while. And, you know, your wheat crop may not be done yet, but we're already thinking about what are we going to do after the wheat comes off to control weeds. It's interesting. As things start to happen in our country, typically from south to north, we end up with a lot of the same products being used in the mix. And you say, okay, well, the guys down south are doing this. Guess what? That's where all the supply is getting tied up. And sometimes when you're thinking about the products that you're going to be using later this summer for wheat burn down, they may be already in tight supply or they may be gone. So it's something that you want to start thinking about early so you can plan and have things in place for your farm. Yeah, and basically what we're saying here is two of the most commonly used products for wheat burn down, glyphosate or Roundup and atrazine, are in very short supply this year, and I'll tell you why. First of all, with Roundup, Monsanto has no more supply capacity this year than they did the last couple of years. So with a growing demand out there and the fact that all these plants have closed down in China, plus the weak US dollar, you've got companies like even Monsanto selling their herbicides into other countries just because they can make more profit. And so when every other company out there is doing that, all of a sudden, you know, Monsanto, their amount of Roundup that they have, it really doesn't even cover all the needs we have in our country. We have dealers running out of Roundup or glyphosate today. So that's a real issue. The other thing with the atrazine, there's one of the components to atrazine that is in very, very short supply, and it probably will be for the next year or so. So if you don't have atrazine lined up for this summer, you don't have atrazine lined up for this fall or for next spring, you better get it done soon because we probably, some of the estimates I've heard are, we only have half as much atrazine as we really need to cover our needs as the U.S. for the next 12 months. Half. That's all we've got. So if you need atrazine, look to be trying to secure that real soon. Well, you talk about Roundup and atrazine, and yeah, they're tight supply, and yeah, the price is going up. But you know what we used to say? Roundup is cheaper than 2,4-D. We got to say that for just a short period of time. Now all of a sudden, 2,4-D and even dicamba are getting cheaper than using Roundup. So if you're looking for something with a little bit of residual that also does a great job killing broadleaf weeds that are out in your field, you can look at 2,4-D, you can look at dicamba. Both products are excellent. You just have to keep in mind they do have some volatility issues. So if you're spraying them next to a field, especially a broadleaf crop like soybeans, you have to be a little conscious of that and you have to watch out for some wind. But other than that, they're great products at a low price that can wipe out virtually every broadleaf in your field. And when you start talking about weeds, you've also got to look at something other than broadleaves. You got to look at the grass side. That's where Roundup has its real strength. Roundup is great on grass compared to 2,4-D or dicamba or atrazine. Roundup is by far the best. You could use even a half rate of Roundup. It'll wipe out just about any small grass that you have out in the field as long as it's an annual grass. So you say, okay, Roundup's getting really expensive, 10 bucks an acre for the normal rate. I'll just use a half rate, get by for five bucks there. That'll take care of my grass. Now, what can I tank mix with it? So let's talk about each one of these tank mix partners. Atrazine first. This is the one I always get such a charge out of because with atrazine, keep in mind, it is clay based. And what our dad always used to say when we were growing up is he said, you know, boys, what the antidote for Roundup is. And we said, no, dad, what is it? He goes, dirt. Dirt is the antidote for Roundup. As soon as Roundup hits dirt, it is done. And he's absolutely right. Well, you know what? With atrazine, when the carrier is clay, what's clay again? Dirt. Dirt, okay. So basically you're putting something into the Roundup to neutralize the Roundup. And that's why Roundup is much less effective when you put atrazine it's in It's not gonna neutralize it completely. completely. It's not right. a total disaster when you mix them together. But it does take a little bit of that control away from Roundup. Now. The trade-off is pretty good too because that atrazine does have some residual activity and it does add some kill to what you're doing with Roundup. We're just saying don't cut the Roundup rate way back because you're going to be throwing atrazine in. You still need it. Now also you look at other tank mix partners and you say well instead of that Roundup for grass I might use Select or Assure or Accent yeah. or some other kind of grass killer out there. You sure can but once you start mixing a broadleaf product with them like a 2,4-D, an atrazine, a dicamba, it seems to negatively impact the control or antagonize the control of a grass killer like a Select or a Sure or Accent much more so than it does a Roundup. And that's one of the things that we really do like about Roundup. It's much more tank mix friendly than the conventional products out there. But if Roundup gets in tight supply, don't say, oh man, there's no way I can kill the grass. I'm going to give up don't give up. There are other products that can be used if you need to. Okay, let's go back to Roundup 
tank mix partners who talked about atrazine a little bit and how you can do that, but keep in mind it is going to negatively impact your Roundup. Now let's get to Dicamba, in other words, Banvel or Clarity. Those are good products, and you know a lot of guys say, good well, products. they're great products because they don't have all situation. the weaknesses that some of the other products have. Look, you're not in a crop. You aren't worried, oh, am I gonna ding my crop up or, or anything like that? No, we're spraying a burn down out here. So we wanna kill everything. So if you wanna kill all the broadleaf weeds, why would you choose a product that has all kinds of weakness and, and resistant weed issues? And you know what? You can lump Roundup in there too and say, hey, there are some weeds that it's missing now and it's not very strong on. Guess what? There are hardly any weeds out there that aren't controlled by a high rate of 2,4-D or dicamba. Those products are great and they have a broad spectrum of control. Now when you're talking about weed control, one of the most important weeds to control is our weed of the week. It's coming up next.